This new ordinance impacts unincorporated parts of King County, and this White Center Safeway behind me is one of 10 grocery stores that will now have to raise pay by $4 an hour. With an 8 to 1 vote, the King County Council joined Seattle and Burien in creating a $4 an hour hazard pay ordinance. Council Member Reagan Dunn was the lone no, remarking during Tuesday's vote that there's no question that grocery workers are essential, but he didn't think it was the county's place to tell companies how much they should be paying their workers. And I didn't get elected to be in the business of deciding what industries in what sectors of our economy pay their employees what amount of money. For them to show up and keep our food supply going um, as essential workers, it's really been a heroic effort. Council member Rod yeah, Dimbowski, the bill's money. sponsor, says the pay only impacts unincorporated parts of the county because that's where the council's jurisdiction is. Dimbowski says to avoid creating food deserts in some areas, this bill only impacts larger chains. We've exempted small stores and stores in maybe economically depressed areas that might lead to a food desert uh, were there to be an impact causing a, a shutdown. That's not reassuring to everyone, however. The Northwest Grocery Association and Washington Food Industry Association released a joint statement Tuesday afternoon, saying in part, it is unfortunate that days after Governor Inslee's announcement prioritizing grocery workers for the COVID-19 vaccine, the King County Council can't allow this critical safety measure to first be implemented. NWGA and WFIA have continued to say that extra pay does not make workers safer. Vaccines do. The ordinance goes into effect on March 22nd and will last until essentially the pandemic is over. However, council members say they will revisit this in 90 days to see how things are going. In White Center tonight, Vanessa Mishania, King 5 News.